So, hey guys, hello, how you doing this pretty afternoon? It's good to have you again on Mom's Diva Talks Daily Podcast, okay? Hope you're doing very, very well because that is all I wish for you. And if this is your first time of joining me here on Mom's Diva Talks, man, you've been missing. Do you know you've been missing? Of course, you have really, really been missing because there's a lot of beautiful things that you have to listen to on this channel. A lot of beautiful things that you have to be listening to that it's gonna be helping your relationship, uh, you know. Always okay. So this is Mom Ziba. I am um, a relationship and emotion therapist, and you are welcome to Mom Ziba Talks. Okay, Mom Ziba talks about everything that has to do with um, your love life and how you can as well manage your emotions. So today we are gonna be talking about um, philophobia. All right, philophobia. So I don't. Many people might want to think about it. What is philophobia? Why are you thinking? I'll be getting ready to come in full to tell you um, today's package. What we have for you. Thank you. Hi. Okay, if this is your first time, just click to become a follower. I want you to click the button right now, 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 now. That is all you're going to do to make me happy. That is all you're going to be doing for me right now to make me happy. So just click on that button, become a follower, a subscriber, or whatever name you think is okay for you. Click on the notification button to get notified for new updates that will be coming up anytime so you be the first to be notified about it and also you can also drop um click on notification button to get notified okay in case mom Ziba decides to you know update you at any time you will not be let out on relationship matters and a gist on relationship thank you so today we are going to be talking about this controversial topic and here is it is philophobia a modern day epidemic is it okay here is the caption for today in a world where digital um, connections thrive why are so many afraid of real intimacy is philophobia the new pandemic all right you know among the uh, gen z um i I got to do a survey i noticed that um, this generation uh, generation z they don't want to do anything with relationship things that involve deep intimacies about relationship a lot of people are just falling out uh, falling out from the line of intimacy and it's really a great concern. It doesn't need to be like this in this, um, those earlier time in the age of our parents, those millennial, okay, and all that um, age, okay, generation. It doesn't know generation X, you know. It doesn't need to be like this. At least people are so committed um, to relationship. People, when they hear about relationship, but how come even our grandparents had a lot of wives, and you know, and everybody want to cling to one man and all those kind. That shows that relationship was appealing. That shows that relationship was um, a, a, a thing that people were proud to do to engage in. But compared to now, it's a different ball game entirely. So we are gonna be seeing the, um, some possible reasons. Uh, um to this particular issue and i'm going to be sharing some anecdotes with you i'm going to be telling you about a man called um emmanuel i had a personal um discussion one-on-one counseling with him and he um he approved for me to share it with you so i'll be sharing it here and also i might be okay throwing some light about my own personal life with you i'll be sharing it with you so here here is it um, um, yeah, um, you know, when people hear the word philophobia, what comes to your mind might be, you know, should be something about love, the fear of being in love, the fear of um, intimacy. Okay, so now I have a story to share with you. Um, and there was a man. Yeah, he hails from here, Nigeria, and his name is Emmanuel, and he had a poem, okay? Okay, um, so 
he had success, he had friends, he had um, all it takes to um, take it right for the bustling social life. But when it came to love, he was a paralyzed person. Okay? You understand what I mean by that? He was not really taking hundred. He was not that kind of a person. He doesn't want to have anything associated with love. And every date he, um, you know, he had felt like a tickling time bomb. Okay? And um, every potential partner was kind of ugh, this kind of a threat to him. So, now, is our fast-paced um, 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 disconnected world to blame for this kind of rise of philophobia okay Emmanuel's journey actually was from kind of isolation to understanding okay my might just make you question your own fears okay that's part of Emmanuel okay yeah um, he had everything he had everything going well with him he was kind of a top social class guy and he was the talk of every lady but there was something missing he had this great fear of being into any serious relationship anything that has to do with um seriousness and i'm um, showing his love to his spouse um to any lady he dated he had problems with that okay so now what do you think is philophobia a pandemic okay is it a pandemic is it what do you really think about this what do you really think about this now philophobia is the fear of falling in love as i said earlier forming emotional atta attachment okay all right and it seems to be on the rise these days and i'm asking why is this is this something common with the modern era or has it always been there okay so you know but i understand that um when we want to understand this philophobia it's not just a reluctance to commitment okay it's a deep-seated fear that can cause significant distress and impact anyone's ability to form a healthy relationship many people are in a relationship with people who have this particular problem philosopher philophobia okay a lot of people are in a relationship with them that is why um their relationship cannot be healthy the more you try to make things work it's not working and you think it's just he doesn't want to commit with me he doesn't want she doesn't want to get committed and these are very common with guys all right and nobody's talking about it because many people don't know that this is the problem i'm an emotion therapist and i understand that these are one of the problem that could be beneath anyone's um, um concern or anyone's um, reason not to embrace um the relationship wholeheartedly not to be very very serious and that is why many ladies can say he's not committed with me no there is something called philophobia and this is the really um this is the um juju behind it <laughs> okay all right all right so let's break it down what it is and what it's not philophobia comes from a greek word meaning philos meaning love and phobos meaning fear now it's more than just a fear of commitment it's can manifest as anxiety listen to me it can uh, uh, manifest as avoidance it can also manifest as physical symptoms when faced with the prospect of love all right so um the, the, i want you to digest that i want you to understand that that is just more than it's more than what we think it's more than what the eyes can see it's more than what we can just term fear of commitment it's more than that so modern day factors contributing to philophobia what do we know that could be the modern day factors now diving into this um, 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 uh, it's it's become more prevalent today it's more prevalent today number one is the digital age i talked about the generation z i talked about how the amalgamation from uh, generation x stone age coming down and uh, generation um, uh, millennial and generation z and all those kind of stuff in a world dominated by social media and dating apps you know and it's becoming more rampant every day um there's every tendency for disconnection 
from human interaction. Yes, because this is a jet state, this is a digital stage. This is the hand that is doing, okay? And the constant comparison and fear of not measuring up can um, uh, exa um, exacerbate um, a fear of intimacy, okay? So we also have um, cases like um, cultural shifts, where uh, modern society plays a very high value of independence and career successes and everybody is trying to meet up with careers everybody is trying to um i, I want to make it I, I i discussed with a guy he was a close friend of my family and the guy is getting to uh, is, is is in his late 40s and he doesn't want to talk about anything relationship and he, all he's talking about is let him make let him have the whole money that he thinks could help him in his marriage and help him take care of his children. But time is fast going. So this is what this, um, the, the society has ended up putting us into. This is the mentality that the society has ended up building into men, all right? And, and, and everybody want to meet up with career successes. And this also has, you know, some way impacted and um, generated the increase of xenophobia. Now, we have issues like past traumas. Looking from that angle, Increased awareness of a uh, mental health means more people are recognizing and acknowledging past traumas that affect their present relationship. All right, some people don't want to go into relationship because of the baggage they have in the past, and because of this, they've not healed from it, and they use that eyes to constantly see anyone that they are going into relationship with, and they remain stuck and they cannot move forward. So this is also one of the contributions that can lead to this particular situation called philophobia. Now, I'm going to be telling you something. How to overcome philophobia. So what can we do about this kind of a situation? Here are some actionable steps I want you to know. First and foremost, self-reflection. The first step is acknowledging that space called fear. All right, talking to a, 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 a trusted friend, a trusted parent, talking to a trusted colleague, talking to a therapist could help. Okay, it can help identify triggers, reasons, okay, why this is happening. All right, and seeking a professional help, like seeking a therapist. If you want a therapist, I'm a, I'm, I'm a certified, um, Therapist, emotion and relationship therapist, visit me at momziba.com. Book a session with me, or you can, um, you know, reach me. Um, um, I'll be dropping um, a link for you where we can chat together. All right, we can chat together um, one on one. But first off, you can book a session with me. Um, reach me at momziba.com, or you can email me at momziba with a double H at the ending at gmail.com. There, we can um, talk a lot of things together, okay? Now, therapy is very, very good, okay? Especially for cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. Okay, it's very, very good, and it can be incredible, um, incredibly um, effective in um, if, um, addressing deep-seated fears. Now, let's go. We have, you can also um, involve in gradual exposure, taking small steps to a building relationship, okay, and seeing it, um, um, seeing it work and see if it can work. Start with a casual and social relationship or interaction and gradually you can move towards a deeper connection. And also you can practice self-care and mindfulness. Practicing mindfulness can actually help you reduce a lot of um, anxiety you have in there and make the prospect of intimacy less daunting. All right, so interactive um, segment, here we are. Audience, are you ready for my questions? Are you ready? I want to everyone to be participating. You've listened to this. I see a lot of listeners are, are on my analytics. All right, listen to what I say, okay? And only a few of them um, can step up the boat step to send a voice message like, Mom, see by listen to what you said, and this is what I think that I've learned, and this is what I think I should answer the question like, come on, step in and fit into the boat. 
old shoes guys i know i'm mixing up with both people and i'm talking to both listeners wherever whichever time you're receiving this i want you to always remember that you are both tell me your boat and answer this question that i'll be trying to you so the number one question is this is an interactive segment all right now here are some questions that i want you to ponder and discuss with us on social media you can visit me at mom z bar okay mom z bar on facebook i will answer you and i i normally interact with my listeners also on that platform so you can just tag me mom z bar based on this podcast i listen to on your on your podcasting channel i want you to really okay let's discuss this all right and if you want to ask me any other question about relationship matter being personal or being global or anything just you can tag me and ask me the question i will um oblige i'll be so happy to answer those questions yes sir. okay so now um self-assessment do you think you have you might have some degree of philophobia how does it manifest in your life do you think do you think you might have some degree of philophobia philophobia in degrees okay you have the small one you have the medium and you have um, the very very intense stage where you don't want to have anything to do with that opposite sex at all you don't want to have anything doing with love word at all so do you think um you might have some degree of philophobia and how does it manifest in your life and secondly personal experiences have you or someone you know struggled with the fear of intimacy how have you managed or supported them please i'll be needing an answer okay societal influence do you believe social media and modern cultural values contribute to fear of relationship then in what ways so here are the actionable points for you my audience and listeners my beautiful 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 listeners today okay challenge yourself try to identify one small step you can and take towards opening up emotionally whether it's sharing something personal with a friend or going on a date with an open mind hey 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 come on i know i have bold people here i want you to just step up of that shoes and go to someone hello girl you look beautiful how how about you and i having some coffee tonight how about you and i um you know taking a walk do you mind are you going my way all right so if you have if you can do this i believe you're losing up a bit you are a bold step person and right now you are on your way of kicking out philophobia from your life all right so number two seek support if you recognize signs of philophobia in your life okay in yourself consider reaching out to a therapist i remind you again a therapist sure knows the best way an experienced therapist sure knows the best way to help you navigate through this kind of a feeling and i i opt for one i do that so if you're interested in talking with me visit me at mom z bar with a double h okay at gmail.com send me whatever you want to send me tell me your name tell me your location tell me how you want us to talk about it um you know we can discuss from there all right or you can also reach me at momziba.com on my website and on the first landing page you're going to be seeing book a session with momziba okay and then you can click and then we can schedule how you want it okay so the third actionable point here is mindful media consumption. Be mindful on how social media can influence your perception about relationship. Be very mindful because most people only share their highlights and they don't share their struggles. So if you are not living in people's highlights and living people's fantasy, oh, then you are living in a facade. All right, so that's it. Now we'll be wrapping up. Thank you so much for joining me today on Mom's Bad Talks Relationship um remember facing your fears is a sign of strength not weakness let's continue to this conversation online onto the hashtag momziba philophobia share your third experiences and any questions you may have until next time take care and nurture your relationship with love and understanding bye cutie cutie